Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the Intertron. I'm Duke of the Bump, and this is Limbo. Uh, this stream is going to be a little experimental. Um, this is a full screen game, and I've never tried to stream anything full screen before. So, uh, hopefully, this will go okay. Um, I recorded a test video, and it looked fine. So I'm hoping that uh, it looks okay on the stream. Um, now the port of this game is a little crippled, unfortunately, compared to the Xbox version. Um, there's no when you can't play it in windowed mode, and you can't change the screen resolution. But uh, hopefully things will look pretty good, uh, and hopefully this is even working. Can you guys hear me? Looks good? Sounds good? Okay. I have the chat open on my netbook sitting on my desk. Um, and for whatever reason, I could not get XChat to work. So if I don't give you an immediate shout out, uh, my apologies. But uh, hopefully, I will notice you chatting and I will uh, give you a shout out. Let me sing things up here. Give you a shout out. Let me oh, sing for things up out here. loud. Give you a <sighs> shout out. You think by now I would uh, know how this works? Uh, how low can you go? And enter. Hopefully, I hear that on the actual video. Um, all right. So this is Limbo. It is a story about a boy who walks right and terrible things happen to him. If you walk left, nothing happens, but you get an achievement for doing it. Which is one of the few achievements I've actually uh, gotten in this game. Oh, well, welcome to the stream. Mors Draconis, Aegis Dragon, Chaotic Harmony, Galen Rayleigh, Mancat147, Meterico, Nar Password, Nixwell Umbreon, Private Steve, Straight Line, The Great M, and Ultra Kirby 64. Wow. A lot of people here right from the start. I love your guys' enthusiasm. Uh, so this game came out a couple years ago, and uh, it's sort of a puzzle adventure game with a very artistic, atmospheric uh, aesthetic. Um, now it's not the longest game in the world, but uh, which you know a lot of people complained about. But I'm actually okay with that. Um, I beat it in about three hours the first time through, which means it'll probably take hopefully about two hours now that I know how to solve all the puzzles and everything although it has been a little while uh, since I played it so uh, I might not immediately grasp everything but uh, this was a pretty divisive game um, a lot of people hated it they thought it was too short they thought there wasn't enough to it to justify the price um, I thought it was pretty great and uh, I'd like to share it with you my friends on this momentous occasion. Hey, what's up? Just drop. You know, now that I have uh, the actual chat thing open, I should probably bestow mod powers on a few more people who I think are deserving. Uh, let's see. You and uh, you. It's a little slow since, like I said, I'm doing everything on my netbook. And, uh, yeah, that's good. So, yeah, welcome to the uh, Circle of the Elite, Just Drop and Galen Rayleigh. To the uh, participants in the Grand Mario Race of 2012. Oh, that's water. I probably shouldn't fall down there. But it's okay, because if you die, you immediately respawn at a nearby checkpoint. Uh, there are there's pretty much only one button in this game besides movement and that's the action button uh, you press the action button next to whatever item you want to interact with and your character interacts with it there goes the no death run yeah uh, don't expect any any fancy footwork in the game um, like I said I've beaten it once um, but I'm not going for any awesome achievements or anything like that Uh, Gomham, Gomham, welcome. 
So yeah, the Great Mario Race of 2012. I'd say it was a great success. Uh, we had eight people playing Super Mario Brothers at the same time in a Google Hangout. It was myself, Morris Draconis, Just Drop, Galen Rayleigh, and a couple other people I couldn't really keep track of. I think one of them was, was Asian Mike Pone. Um, I forget the other ones. I'm sorry, it's not that I don't like you guys, it's just that I was kind of focusing on sucking at Super Mario Brothers the whole time, so I kind of lost track of people. Uh, Fire Kip, welcome. Oh yeah, Private Steve. How could I forget Private Steve? And yeah, um, I think the uh, Hangout supported up to 10 people, not the 9 that I thought it supported. But uh, I'm not really sure since I'm not, I don't think more than 10 people at a time tried to participate. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, nobody won. A lot of people made it to World 8. None of us made it to uh, World 8-4. Um, the f I think the farthest any of us made it was 8-3. Uh, and even that only happened a few times. Oh shit. No, don't let go of the rope, silly boy. You need that to live. Oh, Morris Draconis made it made it to eight four. Uh, oh yeah, that's right because you didn't remember uh, which pipes to go down. Which you know, I'm sure I wouldn't have remembered which pipes to go down if I made it there either. I don't know why we assumed that uh, that any of us would be able to beat that game. I mean, I didn't think I would have been able to beat it, um, and I proved myself correct. Great. Here we have the bear traps, a pretty common element in this game. All we can do with them right now is jump over them. So I had to pull that one away from the other one so I would be able to clear them. However, they will come in handy for other purposes later. Firekip says, 8 anything is me, there's no checkpoints. Yes, World 8 in that game is quite, quite the bitch. Um, we didn't have any problem getting to A1 because we knew where the uh, where the warp zones were. I think... Oh shit, yes. I thought something bad was about to come up. And I was correct. There was a bear trap there. So we might have failed, but at least we had fun doing it. Now, if I remember correctly, I need to use this trap to snap off that piece of rotting meat at the end of that rope. So that way, that branch is no longer weighed down, and I'll be able to climb, yes, climb over to that ledge. First puzzle completed, if you can call that a puzzle. But yeah, uh, after we thoroughly failed at Super Mario Brothers, we gave ourselves two hours from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., my time. Well, most of our times, actually. But uh, after that, we killed some time just chatting and playing some random games. Some random slash hilarious flash games. For a few more hours. And then we called it quits. If I need help at any point, ask me and I'll see if I remember. Uh, I think I should be okay. Uh, Agent Rainer 96 welcome. And... When, when Wanlikin, Wanlikin, welcome. Yes, the highlight of the night was playing um, the Flash games at Foddy.net. He's the guy who made that game Quop, where you control the runner by uh, moving his thighs and his calves independently with four buttons, and his new game Clop, which involves uh, using four keys to move a, a unicorn by moving each of its legs individually. It was uh, it was pretty fun. Those games are entertaining to watch. I mean, they're not you know substantial enough to stream or anything, but uh, oops, I guess I did not handle that appropriately. And GURP, the game about climbing rocks, where every handhold you want to grab onto is a different key on the keyboard. Uh, let's see, how do I approach this? I want to push this 
into the water, but I can't get too far into the water because I will fall into the deep part and drown. Am I supposed to pull it? And maybe get a running start pushing it so I get more momentum? I think that might be it. And then climb up? Hmm. Well, even if I do that, I don't know how I'm going to push it over to the other side. Uh, interesting. Yeah, that did not work. Yeah, no, no help in the chat room unless I request it, by the way. Like I said, I've beaten this game, but I don't want to just look at the chat room for the solution and then, you know, do what the chat room tells me. Because that's not fun for anybody. I don't think. It's certainly not fun for me. But, since I was looking at the chat room, somebody said, don't push it into the water, pull it over and jump onto the branches. Which I'm sure I would have figured out, you know, had the chat room not told me. I would have gotten it a few seconds later. But yeah, please, please, with this kind of game, uh, you know, offering solutions in the chat room. I mean, I know you're trying to help, you know, I know your intentions are good, but it kind of ruins the experience. So yeah, uh, Google Hangout was successful. I don't know when the next one will be, but uh, I do hope that there will be another one. Hopefully we can try the race again with a game slightly more doable. I mean, honestly, oops, oh good, I thought I was worried that would be too far. Honestly, um, if it was any of the other Mario games, there probably wouldn't have been a problem. Because I'm sure most of us, including myself, can probably beat the rest of them no problem. It's just that first one, man. Things were still pretty brutal at that point. Uh, can I make this jump? I want to push it a little farther. But I can't push it too much farther. Okay, that should be good. Is that star near the beginning and clop grabable, grabable with like a glitch jump? Yeah, I was wondering about that too. When you first start playing clop at the very beginning of the game, there's like this star floating away above uh, the ground. And the only way you can see it is by like kind of rearing up on two legs. You know, if you're just going at a normal pace, I think that bear trap up there will come in handy. If you're just going at a normal pace, you won't even see the star. Oh shit. Wow, that thing is scary. We probably don't want to get too close to that thing. So let me see if I can find a solution involving that bear trap. Uh, Java King 2014, welcome. And Martin, uh, one, 10,000, Martin 10,011, welcome. Thanks for making it. Welcome aboard. And Necrolance, welcome. Man, a lot of people tonight. Apologies if uh, there are more delays than usual. Like I said, I have to uh, kind of glance over at, an, at a netbook whenever I want to see or interact with the chat. Now, let's see. There's nothing back here. At least there doesn't appear to be. Maybe I need to draw that spider out before I can make use of the bear trap. Because as, as it is, there's no way for me to get to it. All right, let's risk it. Let's get a little closer. You know, maybe he'll just let us walk right past. Oh, I guess not. The plot of this game is you wake up in a forest, try to find your sister. Yeah, but I mean, even that, you don't know until the very end of the game. So, uh, yeah, as far as story goes, the game is pretty minimalist. Well, let's see. We can't get too close to the spider. We can't lure him out of hiding. Hmm. You know, the ground just shook. I wonder... You know, I bet if the ground shakes like that one more time, that trap will probably fall. 
Cause it looks like he dislodged it, or dislodged it already. Ah, yes, my brilliant plan worked. I bet the spider's not gonna like this. Up, oh. and I did not like it either. My attempt to jump over the trap backfired. But we respawn right back here. For anyone wondering, um, the PC version of this game, the only controller it supports by default is the Xbox 360 controller, and I don't have a wired one, so I'm using Joy 2 key to map the keyboard buttons to, uh, to buttons on my PS2 controller. So the controls aren't perfect, there's a slight little bit of lag. But it mostly works. Uh, Nala is cool, welcome. Ah. Please don't impale me, spider. I need my brain to live. Fooled you twice. Shame on you. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got the best of me, spider. Uh, cistern, what's up? To any new people, I'm Duke of the Bump. I like to play video games on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't know why those game, why those days specifically. It just, uh, it's kind of become a, uh, a tradition around these parts. You do have to kind of stand still for a moment while his leg is outstretched, otherwise he won't, uh, he won't try to zero in on you. Alright. Damn it! I thought I wasn't too close that time. Especially when you play this game for the first time, there is a lot of death in it. There is a lot of violent death in it. It is not a pretty game. It's a good thing the game's so stylized because it would, it would be pretty gruesome otherwise. Not close enough. Or too close, rather. So, how do things look? So, pretty good? I was worried it, it would be too choppy. Because I'm not sure how uh, how well the software handles full screen streaming, but uh, I mean, if this works, it might open up some new possibilities for the kinds of games I'm, a I'm able to stream. Now, I, I still doubt I'll be streaming, you know, Skyrim anytime soon. But I might have a few more options available to me. And with that, the spider scurries off. I doubt we'll be seeing the last of him. Looks smooth. Excellent. We ate that spider's lunch. Oh man. I don't know if I want to go down there. It looks dark and scary. Am I sure there's no other way? More dark and scary than, than usual, I mean. Oh shit. You notice uh, an absence of many sounds. Uh, there's no music, the sound effects are very minimal. The whole thing creates a very creepy atmosphere. Oh shit. I think we just stumbled into bad news oh god oh what's it doing to me oh I don't like the looks of this one bit ah oh, man it's saving me for later Oh, cruel fate. But, 
I'm not unconscious. I still have control over my movements. Let's get the F out of here. I don't care where I'm going, anything is better than that. I don't know how I knew that hole was there. Some sort of outside force must be acting upon me. Some sort of divine intervention, if you will. Whoa, shit! Whew! Hi, Rock. Will you be my friend? Oh, God. I don't want to be Tree's friend. No! <laughs> Uh, hilarious. There is kind of a lot of trial and error in this game, which I guess is one reason people might not have dug it initially. Um, but like I said, it really doesn't bother me. This game is about the atmosphere, it's about, you know, the art. It's a very beautiful game, as minimalistic as it is. And, uh, it's you know about problem solving you know sometimes problem solving involves trial and error I mean Mia Moore has recently finished Portal 2 God knows that game involves a lot of trial and error oh god it's coming after me oh no But yeah, I really enjoy the game, and I don't see why it got as much vitriol, vitriol as it did. People are like, oh, it's only two hours long, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's like $15. I mean, people pay $60 for an eight-hour game all the time. I mean, just look at any popular first-person shooter. I, I really think, hey... Who's this? Oh god. Oh, oh god. That's a corpse. Oh no. Hey, it's greed. You have any items to sell me? No? Okay. I guess I'll just go away then. Oh! That was not a good rope to grab onto. Ha ha ha. Yeah, Greed, like from Binding of Isaac, the game that I usually stream. But I thought I'd take a break from it today. Uh, Oxbow, what's up? Didn't see you come in, sorry. Monothu, haven't seen you in a while. Welcome. Man, all kinds of cool people. Uh, Tom Catfort, welcome. Saya-chan, what's up? Uh, Rooks Rooksmith. And anyone else I missed, I apologize. Oh, Dinostra. Like I said, I'm using the default client, so I can't necessarily see when people uh, join. Alright, let's try that again. That worked out better. Is that thing safe to step on now? Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure, since it was face down, but I still might have triggered it and, I don't know, gone fly off or something. This is a nice change. Yeah, I thought so. I mean... I love The Binding of Isaac, and I think it makes a great stream game, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do it too much, you know. Too much of a good thing is an awesome thing, but too much of an awesome thing is really, really dumb and bad. That looks precarious. Can I climb this? Oh shit. Apparently not. <sighs> Alright, see you later, Java King. Enjoy your Java. Alright. Let's uh let's try not to die. It's generally a good strategy in this game. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> uh, 
This game is out to kill you. It makes no bones about that. Alright. Can I jump that thing when it comes swinging down? Looks like I might be able to. Okay. Excellent. Hmm. Oh, those are spikes. I thought it was just tall grass. I was like, hmm, looks like there might be something down there. Of course, I guess that's why, uh, you know, that's the trap. I don't know why I thought I could go down there. I had the dumb. I have never played Booger Man. I heard it was classy. I have heard similar things. You know, once when I was a kid, I uh, called an advertisement in the paper. Hey, that's not real. Who are you trying to fool? Fool, and why are you trying to fool me? I guess I answered my own question there. Well, the first question. The second question goes unanswered. Hey, come back here. Why why do you have a fake spider leg? Anyway, when I was a kid, I called an ad in the paper of a guy selling Sega Genesis games. You know, a classified ad. But he didn't list the games or anything because, you know, you have limited space back then. So I called and I asked him if he had any role-playing games because I had the Genesis and there are no role-playing games for it except that there are like two and uh, you know doesn't hurt to ask and uh, he tried to convince me the booger man was a role-playing game a grown-ass man trying to take advantage of a poor innocent child like that I say good day sir all right apparently I can jump over that let's try uh, running away Excellent. Wow. The tire was on fire. Ah, oh, what? I totally jumped over that rock. Didn't you see me jump over it? My feet were like miles above it. Ah, the old Springfield Tire Fire. An institution of this fine town. Oh, I, I guess the uh, the fire got me. Not the getting hit by the rock itself. Hey, it's you again. Why are you trying to kill me, dude? Everything else in this world is already trying to kill me. Yeah, like Crusader, I wouldn't really classify it as a role-playing game. It's more of a... I don't know, it's kind of an action RPG, but it doesn't really have the, the leveling up, you know, role-playing mechanics. I, I guess it kind of does, but uh, it's pretty limited. Shining Force is an excellent uh, strategy RPG. One of the best games on the system. What I was really looking for was, like, Fantasy Star 4, because I played Fantasy Star 3 and it was awful, and I've heard... I heard nothing but good things about Fantasy Star 4 being a better entry in the series. But uh, still, I still haven't actually played Fantasy Star 4 as much as I wanted it when, it, when, I, was a, when I was a kid. <laughs> there was another bear trap there. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty cruel. <sighs> Kids can be so cruel. I thought I could run under that second bear trap, but uh, it looked like I couldn't, so I'm going to try running away from that one. Okay. I, di I didn't know it would detach from the rope like that. I guess I am supposed to run under it. The more you know. Alright. 
that little dis- disaster has been averted. Duke, you should play Slender. Never heard of it. Uh, Shining Force 3 for the Saturn. Awesome, but I never had a Saturn, so I never uh, had a chance to try it. Although I watched part of an LP of it that was pretty cool. I have Fantasy Star 4. I would indeed recommend it. Well, I'd like to go back to it someday, but uh, it's hard to go back to those days. I mean, any old RPG is, uh, you know, hey, I wanted to say hello to you and shake your hand for doing a fine job of killing me so many times. I think it was an admirable attempt. It's not your fault I was miraculously resurrected numerous times. Oh, no. Oh god, no. <laughs> uh, too little, too late. I bet you wish you killed me now, don't you, you stupid spider? Ooh, that spider messed that kid up. Jump! 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 Run! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I bet I have to wait for the spider to step on that log. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Thanks, spider. Thanks for giving me a leg up. Get it? A leg up? Because you used your leg to help me up. Get it? It's funny. Bye, spider. Oh, shit. That boulder looks, uh, slightly deadly. Can I climb it? No? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Ah! Well. I, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm sure that won't be the last we'll see of the spider. The incredibly deadly boulder of doom, yes. As made famous by the deadly rooms of death. So, video games. Um, like I said, Mortis and I finished Portal 2, the co-op campaign. And uh, it was a lot of fun. That game... It's pretty awesome. Oh no. Spider to the left of me and spear guys to the right of me. Wait. Hey. You're not dangerous. No. Oh. I guess you are dangerous. I thought since you were just a leg and a body, you uh you wouldn't have that fighting spirit left in you. Alright, well let's see if I can uh Got your leg. Ugh. You. Ugh. Ugh, that's so gross. Okay. I guess that's the last we'll be seeing of the spider. Well, the spider in any recognizable form. Well, like the Native Americans, I will try to honor you by not letting any part of your body go to waste. Well, except for your leg, I guess. That can just kind of lie there. <clears throat> but this nice, big, juicy, meaty hunk... Ugh. Sprays spider juice everywhere. Ugh. Makes the perfect jumping-off point. Hey. Hey. Hi, buddy. Are you okay? You look dead
and the chat room is just as grossed out by it as I was. Oh, and Chosis, wow. What's up, dude? I didn't think you'd be able to make it to any of these. That's my good friend Matt with one T. As opposed to Matt with two T's, as somebody who I know spells his name. Oh, this robe doesn't look safe. Can I survive if I do that? Oh. Oh. Yes. I survived quite well. Thank you. Yes, Matt, like the thing that you walk over. People made that joke with my acquaintance, Matt with two T's as well. Even though he doesn't spell his name with one T. So I'm not immune, I mean, <laughs> he's not immune to it either. Oh god, that is a pool of dead maggots. When will this nightmare be over? Oh man, that's a body. Oh, I'm going to have to jump on that body, aren't I? Alright, see you later, Matt with one T. Oh god. What's wrong with that guy? Oh god. What is that thing sticking out of his head? Well, sorry buddy. I will try to honor your memory as well. Hi! Um, you want to be friends? I tell you what, I don't like the looks of that giant slab of stone hanging above that pit. Nor do I like the looks of that frayed rope down at the bottom of the pit. So you know what I'm going to do? Just to be safe. I'm going to go back and get one of these brain slug infested bodies. Oh, this one doesn't have a brain slug. Good. I don't feel as bad about it this time. Uh, Kalash239, welcome. I don't think I uh, said hello to you, so hello. So what happens if I were to go down here? That's what I was afraid would happen. Hey, where did my friend go? Oh, hey! More brain slugs. Hi! Oh, hey, sore thumb, what's up? The other guy left because you did the right puzzle solution. Yeah, apparently. People don't like to watch puzzle games. They just like to sit in the chat room and shout out the solutions to the puzzles. Hmm. Well, that looks like pretty unavoidable death. Is there anything nearby I can use to trigger that thing? No, this is part of the background, isn't it? Hmm. Well, maybe uh, that thing in the middle has something to do with it. Oh, that's the safe zone, apparently. Excellent. That was not the safe zone, apparently. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, see what I mean about trial and error? This game... It likes to uh, pull one over on you. Although, obviously, it's not nearly as bad as, like... I want to be the guy, or something like that. And the checkpoints are pretty intelligently placed. Hey! Hey! Leave me alone! <laughs> Aww. Couldn't make the jump. 
I think I'm gonna have to do something mean to these guys. I don't want to do it, but it does not look like they are going to leave me a choice. Oh, shit. I did not jump far enough. My bad. What is I want to be the guy? It's a crappy game that some guy made. I wouldn't worry about it. I actually beat I want to be the guy. If that tells you anything about my opinion of these sorts of games. Boy, those guys weren't too smart, were they? They were pretty dumb. Apparently they wanted to kill me so badly they were willing to risk their lives under the giant mysterious pummeling machines of death. Have I done I want to be the guy guy? Nope, not really interested. From what I hear, it's still really glitchy, like even worse than the original. Hmm. Well, let's see. What have we here? We have some buzz saws over here. And we have a rope. Oh. And the rope is attached to a winch of some sort. Interesting. Okay, that's going to retract. Alright. I bet it has something to do with this cart thingy here. Now the question is... Are those buzz saws active? Are they going to tear me to shreds? Because it doesn't look like they're active at the moment. I wonder if I can safely pull myself down. I'm guessing probably not, no. No, I just kind of touched the buzz saws and lost the will to live. Isn't that always the way? Alright. Now let's see what else I can do with this cart then. Okay, well, first of all, what's over here? Anything? Oh, I see. Hmm. Oh, and I bet that other winch controls the other, uh, the other barrier. Okay, I gotcha. So all I have to do is pull the winch down, or pull the rope down, from the winch and then tie it to that cart. Piece of cake. I just can't actually go down with it because I'm allergic to those buzz saws apparently. Hmm. Okay, well, I won't be able to tie it to the cart because the rope's not, lo not long enough. But it looks like I can just jump onto the other rope, Then hopefully that'll give me time to run through. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull that thing down more, aren't I? Uh, run, 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 run! Oh, just barely didn't make it. <sighs> didn't get my tetanus, tetanus shot. Saws are probably rusty. Well, yeah, but I mean, it looks like I can just avoid them on th the third dimension. <laughs> what am I talking about? Third dimension. That's crazy talk. Pure science fiction. Alright, I panicked a little bit because uh, I was worried 
if I let the other one go for too long, then uh, I wouldn't be able to make it. But if I time it right, I should have ample time. So wait, what's the point of the cart? Well, the point of the cart was so I can jump up and grab this rope before it completely retracted. Alright, pull that one up. Pretty good deal. And here we go. Run, 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 run. Ah, excellent. I am a master limboer. Hey, what is this? And what was that? There's some kind of small animal eating these radioactive mushrooms. <sighs> One moment, s'il vous plaît. eat the mushrooms. Well, unfortunately, there's no way to do that. Otherwise, I would. Believe me, I'll try anything once. Oh man, you should have seen me in college. Hey. That thing is not... There's no way it's gonna fall down and burrow into my brain. Oh god. Oh, what's going on? I can only move left. Whoa. It reacted to the light for some reason. Now I can only move right. That's interesting. Not only can I only move right, I can't stop moving. My only options are moving right and jumping. Hey! Those things look hungry. Why don't you eat this delicious brain slug? Oh god. Oh, this thing's going to lead me right into that pit. Oh, I'm going to drown. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, well, apparently, I need to uh, use that box somehow. Because although those, those things are hungry, they are not long enough to reach my brain slug. I mean, all glory to the brain slug. Do not eat the brain slug. It is the master race. Soon all of humanity will be enslaved. Alright, I need to get on this side of the box. Do not go into the light. It burns. Light is bad. Burning is bad. Oh! Oh. I feel remarkably refreshed. Thanks, hideous xenomorph looking chomping things. The brain slug knows all. I mean, hey, my head feels good. Although I do think I lost a few brain cells in the process. Hmm, that looks like it'll do something, eventually. Put the brain worm in the tequila bottle. Hey, it's that weird animal thing again. Ah, oh, I want those mushrooms. Poor little guy. I wish I could help you. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, video games. Uh, me and Morris finished up Portal 2. Awesome. And we did the first two of nine uh, extra levels. They're not story levels, they're just uh, fun little bonuses for after you beat the game. You know, more difficult than, uh, hey, if I jump on this thing. Hey, I think I might be onto something. 
you know, they're more difficult than uh, the normal game. But uh, they seem pretty fun so far, of the two that we played. Hmm. Now uh, this looks like a generator of some sort. So I need to figure out how to power it. And I think that little animal might be the key. I just need to figure out how to coax it out of, out of hiding. Uh, I know how to coax it out, out of hiding. I just need to make it prevent it from running away. See if I can get the drop on him. Hmm. I need to wait until he's distracted. Hey, look. Delicious mushroom parts. Hey, eat, stupid. You want to die? Ha! Coming to get you. You better run. You better run. Hey, look. That wheel looks enticing. Hmm. Whoa. What the hell did I just do? It's raining now. This is a really weird world, guys. It makes me kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> you unlocked a gerbil rain. Fantastic. Oh, hey. I bet this water can do something. Hmm, well, the log is all the way over there. So let's do a little spatial manipulation on this thing. Like kill you? That's doing something. Well, if it's anything like everything else in this game, then the answer is probably yes. Uh, Nufi Banga, what's up? Secured helmet? What's going on? My dog? My ace in the hole. Secured helmet. Oh, oh. Alright, that looks uh, pretty well positioned, I'd say. Professor Ludicrous's Mad Weather Machine. Yes, that'll probably be the sequel to this game. I hear the guys who made this game are working on something else, but I don't know how far along in the process they are. I'm looking forward to it. Anything else these guys want to make, I will probably buy. Hmm. You know what this world needed to brighten it up a little bit? Rain. I thought it was a little depressing before, but let me tell you. This rain. Oh. I suppose that is a deep pool of water and not just a shallow ankle high thing uh... can I jump past it? oh no but it looks like I can climb up there I wasn't sure if I would be able to or not that looks like mud yeah I mean that's what I thought it was just like a, a shallow mud puddle but apparently it's the bad kind of mud Man, those slides are the most fun you can have in this world. See, this isn't deadly water, is it? No, it looks pretty safe. My name is Mud. Hmm. So pull a lever. Oh! Don't pull a lever. Don't pull a lever. Ugh. 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 You know, what are the odds that some random lever that you see in this game is not going to kill you? 
I'd say at least 10 to 1. Probably more. You know, I like this box right there. I think that's a good location for it. Alright, try not to die this time. Oh, I forgot an important step in my plan. I need to open that up to uh, let the box escape. I thought it was just going to be able to push its way up through there, but no. General rule of thumb in this game, when you see a handle on something, it usually means you're going to have to manipulate it. Pulling a lever can be hazardous to your life, indeed. So, uh, in other video game news, I started playing The Walking Dead. I did episode one of the two episodes that have been released so far. And, uh, I really dig it. It is a cool adventure game. I don't really know if it's streaming, streaming material. I mean, it'd be cool if it was the kind of game where the chat room can make the decisions. And it would be like an interactive experience. But the thing about that game is, uh you don't really have much time to make your decisions so I wouldn't really be able to consult with the chat room um, what I might do is uh, try to stream it but uh, make all the opposite decision decisions of whatever decisions I make in my normal playthrough that might be fun oh thank god the water is no longer a threat So yeah, that might be a, uh, a potential future stream. I do want to play through episode 2 first though. I don't know when episode 3 is slated to be released, but I imagine it's pretty soon. Telltale usually sticks to a, a pretty strict schedule. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Oh god, the water's still coming up. Oh, I thought the water was... Oh, man. I thought it was draining away. I didn't know that was... Okay, well apparently, I am on a timer. So let's see what I can do before the water rises to deadly levels. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think I see what I have to do. Oh man, that... Oh, okay. Good. It just released. Alright, if I can nudge this ball over to the right, I should, theoretically, fall down if I can do it without dying. The hope... Well, what happens if I go down here? Okay, nothing but water down there. Okay. The hope was that the ball would um, roll down to a position where it will be able to uh, to pop open that hatch. I'm not sure what would happen if I just let it go. I mean, I think it would just get stuck there. Maybe I have to nudge it a little bit. But I can't waste too much time. Oh, you know what? I just have to catch it. That's all I have to do. Okay. All right. Duke is ready to roll. Ready for prime time. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a balloon of some kind, not a ball. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's not filled with helium, so... Who knows? Some kind of floating thing. A buoy, maybe? It was attached to a chain for some mysterious purpose. I have a habit of drowning. Yeah, well... Believe me. If it was up to me, I would drown much less than I currently am. Alright, am I safe or is the water still coming? Whoa.
Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I'm safe at this point. Pretty sure the water won't follow me up here. Hey, a random switch. Let's see what it does. Alright, that raises the water to that height. Okay. Can I get out of here? Okay. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh god. More brain worms. I squish you. Water is afraid of complex time consuming puzzles. Hey, it's another brain worm pod thing. This looks safe. Oh, good. Alright, well, I guess, uh, I guess I'm in under control of the brain slug now. Alright, how do I not go left when that thing eats my brain? I bet I'm supposed to grab onto that box. Thought of any new Google Hangouts, Duke? Uh, not specifically. I'm sure there will be another one. I'm just not sure when it, when it'll be. All right, grab onto the box. Hold on. No, you forgot the holding on for dear life part. You're never safe. Yeah, that's kind of the theme of this game. All right, let's wait for the worm to. Uh, Cause it's kind of swinging back and forth. Alright, there we go. That's all there was to it. Now, I can get infested. Push this box. It'll get caught on that little bump. And... I walk back into the water and die. Oh, no! Hideous sunlight. The sun is your best friend in this game. Alright, I am still going right. And I'm not sure what my ultimate goal is. Well, my ultimate goal is to get up there so the xenomorph things can eat my brain worm. Don't know how I'm going to go about doing it, though. Oh, well, let's see what's over here, I guess. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. I'm going left. Oh, save me, Jeebus. Is that water still rising? Yes, it is. Good. Or is that just the uh, the shifting motion? Nope. It is definitely still rising. Fudge sickles. Uh, well, let's try. Uh... Damn. This isn't going to work. I'm just going to end up going back and forth. I like how the sound just goes totally, uh, totally quiet when you fall underwater. Oh man, look at how high the water is now. Good lord. Alright, let's, uh, let's try. Getting myself turned back around one more time. And then hopefully, when the water rises enough, maybe I can jump onto that platform that we saw. I'm crossing my fingers. Let's try not to uh, get hit by the sludge. There's no worm eaters. Yeah, uh, up, in the, up in the top right. I don't say anymore because it would spoil it for Duke. I mean, like I said, I've beaten the game, so you can't really spoil the game for me. But, you know, I don't want you spoiling it for other people in the chat room who haven't seen it. I mean, just, you know, content-wise. Puzzle-wise, yeah. I mean, I would prefer you say as little as possible. Okay, water's still rising. Good. I like water. You know, 
I kind of regret starting that rain machine now. Of course, I suppose if I didn't, then I would have just been stuck and not been able to progress. So I guess in the end, the rain is a good thing. Oh boy, can I make this jump? Oh, that was precarious. When's my next Blunky stream? Uh, I don't know. Probably sometime soon. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to beat this game by the end of the stream. So, uh, you know what? If I go over two hours, screw it. I'll just play it until I beat it. It's not that long. But yeah, uh, since I beat, since I'm, I'm going to beat this game in the stream, whoa, then, uh, next stream might be, uh, might be more Binding of Isaac, might be more Splunky. Or it might be something completely different. Who knows? Uh, Vitaly Ibragamov. Welcome. Oh, Red Knight 30. What's up? Oh, Red Knight 30 was the one who asked when the next Monkey Stream is. Apologies for the delayed shout out. Alright, can I climb up here? Does not look like I can. Can I? Okay. I can just hop over there. I was not sure if the game would allow me to do that or not. Oh, ho! I resent that remark. Electricity is dangerous, kids. Oh God! Hmm. Is that E going to let me cross? It does not look like it. Maybe, uh... Maybe I can grab that rope if I fall down here. Close. But not quite. Maybe the water will stop it. Oh god. I was really hoping I was done with the water. Whew! That was a close call. Alright, instead of going down that way, let's try going down this way. Ah! That worked. Surprisingly. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this power shut off. Bottomless pit of doom, indeed. Yeah, that's a convenient place to put a power switch. Can I actually climb this thing? Oh. I guess I could have just gone down from the beginning. I didn't know that was climbable. Okay, well. I did it the awesome way. Because I am awesome. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Well, it's telling me to go down. That was a very misleading sign. Can I just climb this thing? No, I have to go all the way around. Dag nabbit. Okay. It would have sucked if it turned back on when you were on it. Don't give it ideas. Oh, just a heads up, by the way. Um, from now on, the videos will probably be going up on YouTube the day after the stream rather than the same night. Especially tonight, since this one will probably run a, a little bit long. I just don't want to stay up too terribly late to uh, to upload and fix the videos and all. So yeah, Limbo video should be going up uh, tomorrow after I get home from work. Of course, this doesn't affect anyone currently watching. It'll just affect people in the future. 
But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll post a Facebook thing to that effect, too. Hmm, a giant cracking glass dome. Let's jump across it. Safest thing in the world. Try not to get impaled on glass now. Well, I'll try, but I can't make any promises. Hmm. A ladder to, ladder to nowhere, eh? Well, let's see if I can use this to my advantage somehow. Hmm, that thing is not going to stay put. I'm going to, uh... Have to do a little timing to get this correct. All right. Oh shit. Oh, that almost worked. Ladder on a wagon. Yeah, I know. Who invented that? That seems extremely unsafe. I'm pretty sure that does not even come close to meeting the OSHA safety requirements. Oh lord. Lordy Jesus. Okay. Well, that was an adventure. Hey, hose. A long hose. Ah! A long, precarious hose. OSHA is the, uh, the safety regulation commission for uh, American employers. They, uh, they regulate, you know, what safety equipment the uh, employers have to provide, what safety precautions they have to take to keep their employees safe. For example, that is totally not kosher. If somebody got hit by that in real life, they could sue their employer's ass off. Totally unsafe working conditions. Oh, hey, I remember you. You're that first arrow I didn't want. I was making a joke, I know what OSHA is. Yeah, but for people who might not be American. Or familiar with OSHA. Because this is an international show. Oh! Brainworm, huh? How about that? Is there any sunlight down here? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know if this will be bright enough. Oh no, it is. Okay, good. I mean, all hail the brain slug. We salute you, our slug-like overlords. Hey. Why don't you try putting a slug on your head? It's so cool. All the chicks will dig you with your own brain slug. Uh, okay. I guess I'm not using that box at the moment. Hey, can I activate this? No, I guess not. I guess I have to activate it later. Man, this is a convoluted journey. I'm not really sure I'm going to be able to get back now. I think I might have missed my chance. What's that button do? No. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I made a valiant effort. I like how you obviously still have control of your faculties. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I don't have control over is which direction I walk. And whether I want to walk or not at all. Damn it! Okay. Can't let the saw get that close to the box. If you let the saw get that close to the box, you're going to have a bad time. Yes, it makes you keep running in whatever direction it fancies. 
whatever direction will get it out of the sunlight, apparently. You know, I don't know what the brain slug's ultimate motivation is. I mean, is this like a reproductive thing? Is it trying to get to where other brain slugs are so it can mate? You know, kind of like like a burr that sticks to your clothing so you carry it to uh... Damn it! You carry it to where... I don't know how flowers work. To where it can impollinate other flowers. I mean, there's got to be some evolutionary reason for the brain slug's existence. No, it's just a jerk. Huh? Sounds good to me. Oh god, that is pretty scary. Hey, sunlight. Hey. So you know more things. Hey. I probably should have jumped so the you know more things could eat my worm. All right. Now I know, and knowing's half the battle. G.I. Joe. Alright, so you know more things. Do your stuff. Oh, thank God. Ugh. My hair is so messy. Why is there not a comb in this world? Now the question is... What now? I mean, I can't go down. There's no way to go up. It really only leaves one option. I'm going to have to jump over this buzzsaw and start making my way backwards. I don't think there's any other way to get over this thing. Nope. There's no handy switch to disable it. I'm gonna have to make a leap of faith. Oh! Oh god, that's so difficult! Oh, hi, Nader, what's up? Okay, well, I respawn here, so that's not too bad. Wow! This is like a split second timing kind of jump. I mean, it doesn't pause at all, it just bounces and keeps going. Ah, uh, the good old limbo, yep. I love how just shaving the skin off your feet kills you. Well, I mean, it kind of cuts your feet off. And really, you're not going anywhere at that point, you know? Damn it! I don't know if that's a possible jump to make. Is there a rope or something I can grab onto? WTF? I mean, I'm not supposed to... Can I climb that pipe? No? Hmm... Well, this is honestly kind of puzzling. Oh god. Oh man, that was such... Such a hard jump to make, but I made it. Now I can go back and... Die. In some other gruesome way. Well, there's no way I can make that jump. Right, this thing has to be all the way up. Oh god. Ah, okay. Do I have to make that jump again? Please say no. Thank you. Alright. I guess I need to hang out here a little a little while longer. No, that's as high as it's gonna get. Can I jump on it and encourage it to to be at a more beneficial angle? Maybe I have to go back and forth, kind of build up some momentum on it. This game kind of has interesting physics puzzles that way. Alright, let's try one more pass. Down. Up. Jump, 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 jump. Well, that might have worked if I jumped.
like I said, using Joy to Key, the controls aren't perfect. But I, for this kind of game, I still find it's preferable to uh, to using a keyboard. Why did the kid slow down? Is he stupid? Possibly. I haven't ruled it out. ROFL, rolling on floor laughing. Don't you mean LMBO? Laughing my butt off. LMBO, limbo, get it? Whew, it's gonna be another tough jump. Can I pull this back any further? Oh, thank God. He's not dumb enough to not avoid the slugs. Well, I mean, really, there's no way to avoid them. I mean, other than not walking that way at all. I mean, if you pass under the slugs, they're going to get you. Alright, I can make the elevator go up or down. That's as far down as it can go. Running uphill is harder than running on flat land. Oh yes, I believe you. Like how walking upstairs is harder than walking downstairs. Hmm. Alright, we have an interesting combination of environmental items. What's this lever do? Anything? Oh. Oh, can't reach that. Let's see what my other options are. Man, it's already 8.30. Maybe it'll take me longer to beat this game than I thought. Because if I remember correctly, I don't think I don't think I'm even halfway through it yet. I mean, I have been kind of dicking around. Let's see. Where am I? Okay, I guess I am past the halfway mark. I'm about three quarters of the way through. Okay, well, let's uh, let's see let's see where I am by nine. I might keep going. I might not. Shame he can't pick up a rock and throw it at the freaking slug. Well, yeah, I guess that is one option that I that I did not consider. Can I do anything with this besides just pull it back? See, there's a rope up there. Hmm. I have an idea. Let's try raising it up. But instead of letting it go all the way up, try holding on to this end and see what happens. Oh, that didn't do anything. Is there anything down here? Looks like death. No? Oh yes, that's just the way I went when I was trying to get rid of the slug. Okay. There's not going to be anything useful down here. I just downloaded the Lombo and Lana remake. I was going to give it a try after the stream. You know, that looks pretty good. I uh, I was not able to play the original Lombo and Lana because the puzzles were way too obtuse for me. But uh, the remake looks like it actually gives you some hints as to what you're supposed to do. Well, let's try my idea, but let's try doing it the other way. Let's try lowering it, holding on to it. See what happens. Hmm, okay, well that weighs that down. But what does that accomplish? Well, let's try, uh, let's try going up like this. See if I can get to that rope. Is this going to crush me? Yes, it crushed me. 
Dang, Nabbit. Okay. Uh, welcome back, next to Lumbreon. What's up, my doge? D O G E. Uh, Blutiful, what's up? And Citron Vand, welcome. Glad you guys can make it. Uh, New New, what's up? Olivia Deadly, wow. A lot of new people. Of course, I get new people every week. That's uh, that's kind of the nice thing about Twitch. It's easier to uh, to locate streams of games that you're interested in, and I get occasional random new people streaming in. So to all the new people, hi, I'm Duke. Oh, you know what? I bet. Yeah, I want to have to drag that thing over so I can jump up there. All right. Good idea about the 12 second YouTube video, would have missed it otherwise. Yeah, I try to uh, upload a video for every new stream. Of course, the easiest way to get updates is to follow the Twitter or the Facebook account. Because I post stuff there too. Or to just follow me on Twitch. Any of these is a good idea. Well, I'm up here, now what? Can I grab onto that? No. Hmm. Was this box over here before? Apparently it was, and I totally missed it. Okay. Well, let's see what I can do with this box. Probably nothing, but hey. You never know. It has been a few months at this point since I played the game. So, the solutions aren't as fresh in my mind as I would have liked it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I see a potential solution. Leave that box there. Lower this, but drag this over so it'll weigh that thing down. Then I can push the box up, and I can use the box to access a rope I couldn't reach before. So what was the point of the rope up to the left? I guess it was just a red herring. Just something to throw you off the trail. The left rope drops a secret egg. Well, I don't know what that means, so... I guess there's nothing I should be concerned about. Well, uh... Okay, that goes back up pretty slowly. Should be able to run over and grab the rope before it completely retracts. Well, if I can jump in a direction and not just straight up. Easter egg, yes. I imagine that must be related to one of the achievements I have not have not yet gotten. Which I'm not really concerned about. This is just a straightforward stream. I'm not worried about 100%ing it or, or, or anything like that. Woo-wee! Now I got some swinging room. Hey, some boxing. Two boxing to be precise. I got hit on the head by one of the two boxing. Alright, this is going to be a timing heavy puzzle. I'm going to have to... Actually, I already screwed up, so let's just kill myself. I'm going to have to time it so that one box falls on top of the other box. 
but I have to do it before the boss gets shredded by that buzzsaw. Okay. Kurt hated this part. I'm not familiar with Kurt. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't fall off. No, no, no. Damn you, boxing. I'm deliberately using the fake, incorrect pluralization of box, by the way, for a comic effect. Should be boxes. Okay, well, that would have worked in theory if I hadn't taken too much time. Let's try something, let's try a different tack. Let's try getting behind this box and then see if I can push it. Nope, that did not work, okay. Alright, see you later, Nala is cool. Thanks for hanging out. You know, a lot of people think that the plural of penis is uh, peni, but that's actually not correct. If it was P E N U S, then the plural would be peni. But since it's P-E-N-I-S, then you would actually use a different declension. Of course, you know, we don't speak Latin, so we would just say penises. But if we were speaking Latin, I think it would be, uh, it would be either penes, P-E-N-E-S, or peneris. I took Latin too many years ago to remember exactly. But either way, peni is just dead wrong. Wow. This is pretty black. Um, okay, well, let's risk it. Fish and fishes are both plural for fish. Indeed they are. Hey, there's something over here. There's something kind of creepy over here. But what am I saying? This whole game is creepy. Um, is there like a switch or something? So I can raise this thing up? And get past it? I guess not. Huh. This might be related to an easter egg. Fishes describes multiple types. Yeah, similar to uh, how people and persons are both valid. Uh, plural versions of person, depending on the context. Which always used to bug me as a kid. I was like, why are they saying persons? Just say people. Stop being different. But I suppose there is a right time and place to use persons. Whoa. Are you a friendly bug? Not like the spider, are you? You don't want to kill me, do you? I guess not. But I'm still going to need your help, bug. What about the mouse for a computer? What's the plural for that? See, that's not quite cut and dry. Some people say mice, some people say mouses. I just say mice because mouses just does not sound right. Okay, I want to have to sneak up on this bug, which means no splashing around violently in the water. I can't let it hear me coming. This is the stealth portion of Limbo. Every time it raises its head up, just imagine an exclamation point appearing over its head with this sound effect. Oh, 
Uh, uh, let go, let go. Oh, thanks, bug. Sorry about your leg. You, it's still twitching. Gross. Heh, <laughs> moosin. Some nice low key ambient music going on now. Alright, I need something to weigh that down. What do I got? I got a box, but I won't be able to use it because it's stuck. I have a switch, which might do something, and I have a big ass gear that looks like a lot of fun. I know what Duke's plural of a computer mouse is. Mousin. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, one mouse, two mouse, and it's like grade school stuff. I wombo, you wombo, he, she, it wombos, etc. Hmm. That's interesting. Alright, well, I can't walk past this thing. Try climbing over it. Hey, a tire. Can I set it on fire? Because that's all I ever really wanted from a tire. Hmm, not going to be able to get to that other one in time. Okay. That's cool. I can just pull it over. No biggie. Hmm. I probably need to be on the other side of this thing. That's probably why it goes so slow. Because if I climb over it... Yeah, okay. Alright, I gotcha. I need to not push this thing over quite so far. Alright. Let's do it. Let's solve a puzzle. Every time I solve a puzzle, I hope all of you in the chat room are going do 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 because that is the appropriate puzzle solving music. I mean not not in the chat room. I mean out loud in real life. I'm just going to assume you assume you're all doing that. Alright, uh, well, hopefully I can use that tire to, uh, to weigh down that button. Of course, it's not going to stay. That's the problem with circular objects on an incline. Well, let's see, it's going to roll back, though. Will it roll back enough to actually activate the button again? Oh, okay, good. Excellent. Alright. This should... Whoa! Hey, don't go crazy now. Alright. Stay open, please. No. Alright. I should have pushed this crate over before I started the whole process. Oh! Well, will it do that one more time? If so... Ah... I'm gonna have to reactivate the puzzle. According to Nixolembrion, it's... Da 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 da... I don't know what that is. The Zelda music is... Da 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 da... You know, just four does. I don't know what you're doing. No, I did it wrong. I'm pretty sure I know what the Zelda puzzle solving music is. It's always been da 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 da. You're seeing the item get tuned. Oh, okay. Well, same thing basically. 
The actual puzzle solving music is a little harder to, harder to sing because it's kind of tuneless. It's like doo 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 doo. Uh, I don't like that. I think I'll stick with the da 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 da. Thank you very much. All right, what can I do with this gear? Can I put it in first gear, second gear, reverse? Okay. Yeah, the actual puzzle solving music is not not that uh, not that good. I'd say the item get music should suffice. I mean, if you really want, you can do the Final Fantasy victory music. That's you know a little more elaborate. Huh. Well, part of me wants to see what's down on that gear, but I'm going to. Uh, Yes, Necrolance, exactly. Why not the Final Fantasy Victory Fanfare music? I don't know, that's a little too predictable. You can do the Dragon Quest Victory music. It's just... It's more of a sound effect than music, really. Oh, well, I guess my uh, instinct to go on the gear was well-founded. Or the La Mulana puzzle solve music. Yeah, they changed it for the uh, the remake, and I don't like it as much. The uh, the conch shell. It used to be kind of exotic and Middle Eastern sounding. It was like doo 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 doo. I mean, I'm not I'm not doing it justice, obviously, but I I kind of preferred it before. It's a lot more generic sounding now. I'll just hum the music that plays when you beat a trainer in the Pokemon games. Oh yeah, that music. I am well familiar with it. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. I mean, I, I just assume that they use the uh, use the TV show music in the game, right? I mean, why wouldn't they? Hmm. Oh, well, looks like I want to need another crate. Or will I? I don't know. I might be able to just, uh, well, there has to be something weighing that button down, though. That's the tricky part. Well, is there another crate anywhere? I didn't see one, but let me, uh, let me go back. Pretty sure there's not. Let's see, we have the lever. Oh. Well, here we go. Thank you to those of you in the chat not shouting out the solutions. It is appreciated. Yeah, Necrolance, I mean, at first I, I thought it was just going to be a timing puzzle, but then I was like, that's impossible. There's no way you can actually time that. I got put in my place. Alright. Let's make sure this is in a good position. It is. Okay. Easiest way to do this would be uh, to push it from this side, I'd say. My chat keeps failing on me tonight. Yeah, I don't know what, what's going on. I could connect with XChat on my PC, like I usually do, but when I tried to connect with XChat on my netbook, it wouldn't connect for some reason. Oops. It would not connect, and I have no idea why. Hey, hey, come back here. Hmm. Well, that's going to be difficult to do. Maybe I need to start the process while it's on its way back. I don't think he, I don't think that works though. Oh, you know what? I know what I have to do. 
I'm going to use physics to my advantage. Alright, let that swing that way, swing back, swing that way, and swing back. No, oh, oh, ah. Damn you, physics. You foiled me for the last time. I think you can make that jump. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to. And I'm pretty sure this is what I did last time. Maybe I didn't let it swing far enough. Maybe I, maybe the, the pendulum part has to be lower to give me more room. Let's try jumping off in the maximum nadir of the swing and see if that helps. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, that's cl clearly doable. I just have to time it a little bit better. All right. Man, poor kid. He's been through so much in so little time. Why is everything in this world out to get him? Uh, Perky566, welcome. Okay. That worked. I just needed to grab it in the middle, not while it was moving. Okay. That makes sense. He's been through a lot. Is the kid immortal? I don't think he's immortal. He just has what whatever uh, whatever time altering abilities Tim from Braid has. Oh God! What's happening to the world? Oh my God! This is pretty scary. Oh, that thing's going to fall on me if I stand there. Hey, I can predict the future. I don't like it when the world goes all cattywampus on me. Uh, is that electrified down there? No. Hey! Apparently that's how magnets work. Okay. The world has stopped moving. Where were you when the world stopped moving? That's a song, right? Something about 9-11. Never forget. Hmm. Uh, I guess we're going to have to stick this crate in place if we want to get any use out of it. Man, you guys, the other day, I hate to say it, really ashamed to admit this, <sighs> but I forgot about 9-11. I know, I know. How could it happen, you say? It's literally the single most important event in the minds of any living American. I guess there weren't enough songs that told me never to forget. Hey! You're supposed to land on the crate. You know, I think we should just move past this whole tragedy. And I think the best way to do that is to start referring it, referring to the date as 9/11/2000 fun. Now, doesn't that sound better? Let's not let's not remember the bad things. That's what the terrorists want us to do. Damn it, is the box not close enough to the ladder? It looks like it is. Yeah. 
I'm just not doing a good enough job of jumping, apparently. Where were you when the world stopped turning from Alan Jackson? Yes, that is the song. I don't know why I know that. Damn it! I would not call myself one of Alan Jackson's biggest fans. I mean, honestly, I kind of thought it was one of the parody songs from Team America. But no, it's r it's very real. Climb, 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 run, run, run. Okay. By the way, in honor of Team America, I vote that we rename the country Fuck Yeah, okay? Doesn't that just roll off the tongue? Oh god. Um, actually, this looks survivable. If I just, uh, hang to the right and don't try to, uh, run past the blade, I should be okay. Oh, it's electrified! I guess I should have seen that coming, huh? Alright. Alright, kid. Oh, God. Oh, uh, why is it so scary? I want my mommy. So I'm going to have to wait for the box to slide. And then jump on it. So I have transportation on the electrified floor. <gasps> ah, too far. Kids gotta grow up sometime. Yes, I'm sure all these experiences are building character as we speak. <gasps> Who's that buzzsaw intended for? Godzilla? Well, presumably, it is for some kind of industrial purpose. Such as cutting the trees of God. No! Oh. Can you stop the world, please? I want to get off. Is it done? Guess so. Just going to have to slide. Oh. Oh man. This is so horrifying. Oh, here we go again. Hold on to your butts, everyone. God, I love this ambient drone music. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Well that that's not how I thought that puzzle was going to work. I thought I was going to have to jump off the box. Where are the save points? Oh, uh Trollocs, welcome. Uh the checkpoints are kind of uh, invisible. It just kind of auto saves. You know, I don't see any other way to do this. I think I'm going to have to uh do what I was trying to do but better hmm the soundtrack for this game is great if you like lust mord which I do oh I didn't know the soundtrack was actually by like uh, a professional artist I mean I'm sure I'm sure it was a professional but I didn't know it was like a band with a name that you could look up. But I mean, I've been on a big drone, ambient drone kind of kick lately anyway, so... This is uh, just, the, just the kind of thing I dig. Man, that light is going fucking nuts.
Ah, a single butterfly. So innocent. So pure. Hey! Uh, uh, no! No! I was so close! Oh, damn you brain slugs. Why? Why would you deprive a little boy of the only thing in the world he cares about? Finding his sister. You are truly evil incarnate. Ha! Take that, you stupid worm. And now to find my sister. I'm sure she's still there. I mean, why would she be gone? She just saw me. Surely she figures I'm coming back, right? Nope. It's a horrifying death machine. Run, 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 run. Okay. That was apparently not the appropriate strategy. Oh, gross. You can see his giblets and everything. Well, let's see. If not that, then what am I supposed to do? I guess I need to grab onto it while it's... Well... It really doesn't come down that far. No, that's pretty much as low as it gets. I mean, there's a ladder there, but... Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to, uh... Try to hang back a little bit. I don't know if the worm will let me do that. But I'm not going to be able to make it if I just run for it. Maybe if I jump on at the very end of the cycle. Like, right when it's about to go up. Hey! Oh, it still killed me. I don't actually remember how I did this one. Oh, I can just hang on to it. I forgot about that. Okay. Hey, you know more things. I have a tasty morsel for you. You're gonna love this. It's gotten nice and ripe in my brain. Covered in extra brain juices. Don't walk off the box, stupid. Don't jump off the box, stupid. The kid's legs are made of pipe cleaners. Yeah, I mean, they do look pretty, uh... Pretty unreliable. Little twigs of legs. Hey, an infinite supply of boxing. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Alright, how close am I to the end here? Let's see. I'm... There. I still have a pretty good bit. You know, I should be able to blow through it. I mean, I'm not putting up the video immediately after the stream. So it's not like I have to stay up for that anyway. Hey, I put it in reverse. Interesting. So, extra long bonus stream for you lucky viewers. Aren't you thrilled? I mean, it would just be silly to stop it here, then play it for like 20 minutes next time. 
Uh, am I going to have to re-reverse it? I suppose so. Alright. Uh, see if I can time this right. Re-reverse activate. That wasn't the correct timing. Okay. Well, let's go on ahead and uh, let you keep going then. Oh. Nope. Close. Nice, Duke. I wasn't here for like five streams anyway. Well, you lucky bastard. You chose the right one. Hey, 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 hey. You. When I tell you to jump, you better make like a frog, Buster. No, that that that's not gonna work. Have to be up early in the morning, but yeah, I apparently can't turn this off. I'm sorry, I make such compelling content. But I love you guys for watching. You are supposed to jump. Move your tiny little twig legs human I guess I'm waiting just a tad just a skosh too long you guys want to know something that will blow your minds the word skosh is actually derived from a Japanese word I didn't know that apparently it's like skoshi or something means a little bit or something like that. Uh, I'm sure it's not pronounced like exactly like that, but uh, it's apparently slang that the Americans picked up uh, from the Japanese during World War II. So yes, skosh is a Japanese loan word. I, w I always thought it was like Yiddish or something. The more you know, I try to drop at least one random trivia fact into every stream. Hey! That's interesting. There's no way I can switch the power back off either. It's just permanently on. Oh no, okay. It just switches back after a sec. Yes, move your pipe cleaners. Huh. Alright, I think I get the gist of what I have to do. I need to, once again, use the power of physics. Aw oh, man, the timing on this isn't going to be right. Damn it. Well, I'm on the right track. When I hear the word, it makes me think you're going to say Scotia. Alright. Probably going to have to wait. Ah, man. Just barely not close enough. Okay. This is going to be another one of those tricky timing things. So those of you watching who haven't played the game before, what do you think so far? Does it look like it's worth 15 bucks to you? Because I actually got it as part of one of the indie bundles. <coughs> indie bundles. I think I paid like seven dollars for seven games or something like that. But I mean, I think it's pretty good. I would have paid fifteen for it had I not waited for the bundle. Alright, I think I got it this time. I've played it hundreds of times, never gets old. 
See, I mean, that's that's kind of my attitude. I mean, even when you know the puzzles, it's still a beautiful atmospheric experience. But, oh well. Now, I mean, if they were charging $60 for the game, and they released it on disc, then yeah, I can kind of see why someone would be upset about that. Oh god. Huh. Apparently you can't hold on to that switch. Which means I have to do this part all over again. Joy. Well, hold on. I better do this part first. Because if I make it up there... Oh man, this looks, this looks like a minecart segment coming up. This is going to be fun. Everyone loves minecart segments. I keep striving for the five or less deaths in one sitting, but always miss it by one or two more deaths. Practice makes perfect, though. I'll get it eventually. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm just not really too concerned about that. I mean, I definitely see how uh, how you get more retail, retail, more replay value that way. I mean, it's kind of like the Binding of Isaac. I got the Basement Boy achievement for beating the basement without taking any damage. I don't picture myself ever get, getting any of the other no damage achievements. And I'm okay with that. It's just not my cup of tea. Wow, this is scary. It's like super dark. The only light is coming from the headlights on this minecart. Oh lord. Oh Jesus. Whew. Hey! Hey! What do you know? That button activates the electric field. Okay, well, just have to stop you in your tracks. <laughs> Get it? Tracks? Oh, I remember what I have to do. I have to make sure this thing has enough mom momentum so it does not start falling back until I am well clear of the electrified floor. So what that means is I'm going to have to push it, then climb up, and then book it. Uh, ah, That's pretty close. Oh my god. What is happening? It's dark, the world's moving, there's a boulder down there. That boulder is going to come out and it's going to try to crush me. But I can't see what I'm doing. <gasps> there's a ladder. There's another electrified floor. Oh my god. This is pretty intense. Okay, I can jump over here though. Alright, the world stopped turning. But I still can't see much. Um, alright. I'm assuming that I have to push this crate down here and then take the low path. All right, guys, I think I'm almost out of the woods. Listen to the beautiful swelling chorus. Machine guns. There's machine guns in this world too. You have got to be kidding me. If you break that beam, you're going to get shot at. Well, let's see what happens. That's what happens. 
I have unlocked one of 13 achievements, 8%. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the achievement I got was uh, walking left at the beginning instead of going right. There's a lot of secret stuff in this game, apparently. So, you know, who knows? I might actually play through this game again one day. Oh god. Well, at least I have a way to take out that machine gun now. Hey! You're supposed to take out the other machine gun. Why didn't you do that? Oh no. Oh no! It didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Alright, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Machine Gun. I love you, despite your only existence being to murder. The only reason for your existence being to murder people. No, that was me. Oh, I, I think it's me too, actually. I'm pretty sure I only have one achievement as well. Alright, we have a ladder that I can't reach. Some boxing. And a button. Whoa. Oh, the button's on a timer, eh? In trick way. Uh, okay. Well, let's try this. If I push this box onto the button... I wonder if it's still on the timer. Uh, I think it'll just keep reactivating itself. I think. Let's see what happens. No, no, it's kind of, hmm, I guess I have to pull the box off and then push it back on. Alright, well, let's see if I can jump, actually, let's pull this crate, yeah, there we go. Okay, well, I, I can't grab onto it when it floats up. I mean, I, I don't really need to do that to get out of here. Okay. I think I see the general gist of what I need to do. I need to just step on the button. Let that box slide up so I can, so I can use it. And then I'm going to have to jump up there and stop it from sliding off the edge. Okay, well that's not going to work. Let's try getting both boxing up there. Anti-gravity, yeah, it's pretty cool. A lot of cool mechanics in this game. And I don't mean the kind with the monkey wrench that'll fix your car. Uh, let's see. Okay, well let's try this. I'll keep one box out of the anti-gravity field. until like the very end. Hmm, I'm still not going to be able to get up there in time though. That's tricky. Damn it, I didn't actually want you to float up this time. Okay. I mean, there's no way I can get up to that ladder from here, is there? I don't think so. Alright, well that's clearly not going to work. I'm going to have to, uh... I'm going to have to think with portals, so to speak. Oh, you know what? This is actually pretty similar to a puzzle from Portal 2. Well, a couple puzzles from Portal 2 that Morris and I did recently. I'm going to have to push the box up here and then let it slide down onto the button. I have to use gravity to activate the anti-gravity. It's pretty deep. That will give me time to push this thing over here, climb up on top, Hopefully not get crushed. 
and I'm good to go. That's thinking with boxing. That should be the slogan of this game. And now you're thinking with boxing. Welcome back, Galen. Oh! Well, look at that. Uh, okay. Now I apparently need to get the boxing up here. How am I going to do that? <laughs> Thinking outside the box, yes. Very clever. Alright, well, uh, I bet. Hmm. You know, I don't actually think that'll work, though. Is it affected by the anti-grav... Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be affected by the anti-grav field up here, too. Because it has the little slots underneath the floor. That means it's part of the field, I think. So if I activate it, I can jump up here, and then go over, grab the box. Oh, I'm probably going to have to, uh, to, to do the slidey trick again. Yeah, okay. I got you, game. Not thinking with boxing. Push the boxing button. Which one's the boxing button? Who cares? Find one. All right, box. Godspeed to you and all your loved ones. All right, now I can grab onto this box, pull it over here. Ooh. Hmm. Now if I activate the field, they're both going to fly up. So I guess I'm just going to have to use the slidey trick again. I don't know if that'll give me time to get to it or not, but it's the only solution that I see. Now see in Portal, there's this orange goop that you can apply to boxes, to boxing, I'm sorry, to make them more, uh, make them have less friction. Ha ha, I solved you. Take that puzzle. There's some interesting puzzles with that goop. I'm not sure if you could see the little Skype pop-up notification or not. I'm still not 100% sure if uh, the full screen streaming picks that up or not. Oh, I almost forgot. I had a uh, I had a form spring question. So uh, let me take care of that. Anonymous asks. Do you like your job? I do, actually. It's not an important job or a particularly well-paying job. Ah, oh, it got me. Uh, but it's something that I actually enjoy slash don't mind doing. And, you know, I make enough to, uh, to live on my own and pay for all my expenses, so I really can't complain. Alright, uh, same plan, less bullets to the head. The box has been freed. Now the question is, is that gun going to destroy this box or not? Had the stream on full screen, it just flickers. If, wait, it flickers when you go full screen? Does it do that for everyone? Oh, it's not even want to activate. Excellent. Apparently the uh, the aiming mechanism is only 
tuned to, to target humans. Oh, the Skype notification. Okay. Yeah, it, it was kind of flickering on my end, too, but I wasn't sure if you could actually, uh... Well, hopefully it wasn't obtrusive. Whoa. Whoa. Dude! This game just turned my world upside down. Hey, guys, let's play VVVVVV. Oh wait, this isn't VVVVVV. There's a lot more misery. Now the only thing that sucks is that it reverses your your controls when you do this as well. So you have to press down to jump. Normally it's press up to jump, but I map that to uh, to one of the buttons. But of course when you're upside down, that no longer works. So I just have to press down on the D-pad. I was here from one one of the VVV VVV streams. Well, that's good because I think it's one of my best streams so far. Well, there were two of my best streams so far. I'd say the VVV VVV streams and the Oregon Trail streams are probably my favorites. A lot of great audience interaction and participation. You know, I was actually able to uh to show off a lot of a lot of cool stuff in VVV VVV, I was able to get all the trinkets. It was a very successful run. I am a hmm. Well, this is not going to be adequate. Now maybe when I drop the box down, maybe it'll hit that that ledge. Hmm. I don't know if this will accomplish anything. I nicknamed that game V6. But then it sounds like a stupid car racing game or something. With V6 engines. I don't know, is that a thing? Or is it just V8? Huh. Well, that didn't accomplish anything yet. That certainly didn't accomplish anything. V8 is a juice drink. Well, yeah, but they named it after the 8-cylinder engine thingy. Because car engines can either have 8 cylinders, I think, or 6 cylinders. And 8 cylinders is good, and 6 cylinders is not so good. And that's the total sum of my knowledge about cars. Yeah, I gotta do that all o all over. That sucks. Oh, apparently there's a V4 as well. Wow, I feel bad for anyone who has a V4. Okay. Well, I'm going to need another box eventually. But for now, let's see what happens if I just go over here. Did I try this? I th yeah, yeah, I did. There's nothing over here. There's a ladder that I can't jump to. There's some miscellaneous foliage. I saw this video on YouTube of the uh, the British show Top Ge Top Gear. It's a car show, and uh, the host was driving this hilarious plastic three wheel car. It's called the uh, the Reliant Robin, I think it was, and uh, it was awesome. It was like it couldn't take even the smallest turn without flipping over. And he had to like call for help and have people come over and flip the car over. But I mean, it was such a, a tiny light car that he didn't really get hurt or anything. I mean, he had safety harnesses and you know a helmet and all that good stuff it's a pretty funny video I recommend looking it up just YouTube search Top Gear 
Reliant Robin. That didn't work. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Before I do any of this stuff involving the box... I'm just resetting at this point. Yeah, he kept toppling the car. It was hilarious. In the end, he ended up putting safety wheels, basically, on the car to prevent it from rolling over. Like you would see on a bicycle. Just little wheels off to the side. But it didn't work. And back, what did I miss? Uh, lots of cool and awesome stuff, I assure you. Feet, don't feel me now. Alright, now what is over here? Better be something cool. Oh, hey. Another box. Imagine that. Ah. Oh. Gravity go on. Gravity go off. On. Off. On. Off. On. Off. Yay. I love box. No. Oh. How am I going to get over this little bump? Oh, you know what? I know what I need to do. Okay. I can leave it there. Try not to get killed by a box. Hopefully successfully. Try not not to get killed by a gun. Try not to get killed by another gun. Reverse the polar polarity of the tachyon field. And some other very scientific sounding techno babble. Yay! Boxing! Alright, now I can just drop down. Oh, you know what? Ooh, this is going to be tricky. One of the boxes has to be on top of the uh, the piston thingy. On top of the piston Honda. Ugh. Alright. Well, this should be doable. Actually, let's uh, pull this just a little bit farther. Okay. Alright, well, let's uh, wait for that thing to extend again and then hope for the best. Oh, 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 oh. oh this isn't going to work. Damn, I almost had it. Okay, no problem. Gotta get right back on that horse. all a matter of timing you know that's why I didn't become a comedian timing that's the joke you know maybe uh, let's try pushing this thing just a little bit that way so that way I can switch gravity while it's on its way out Actually, come to think of it, it would probably be a good idea to just push it all the way to the edge. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm, now I'm on the trolley. Okay. Alright, when that thing starts extending, I flip the switch. That's what she said. Apparently. I mean... It's not a direct quote, so you know, don't uh, don't take that as gospel. But I hear that that's what she said. 
Oh, is my nightmare over yet? No. That is, that is a very large object. It's a VLO. Look, up in the sky. It's a VLO. Do you know what it is? No. Well, then it's UVLO. Oh, yeah. An unidentified, very large object. Oh, okay. Well, I need to keep that stuck to the ceiling. And I need to reverse gravity. Ooh, now they're both stuck to the ceiling, though. Okay. I know what I have to do. I need to reverse gravity. Hmm. Actually... Ooh, ooh, okay. The ceiling is sticky. So I need to make sure the one on the left is stuck, but not the one on the right. And to do that, I just need to finesse the... the tachyon charge. And that's that. Replaying Final Fantasy VII. Well, you know they're porting it to PC. Well, again, they're doing like a fancy update thingy. PC port. I just wait for that. I mean, I don't know how much they're changing, but uh, the PC version looks much better than the PlayStation version. And uh, and with the port, you should be able to run it easily on a modern machine. All right, I need to get this thing swinging. Fall off the rope. Wrong button. Fall off the rope. Reverse gravity. Oh. I guess it do doesn't actually matter if it's, if it's swinging or not. I just have to, uh... I just have to time this correctly. I mean, it's going to be swinging because it was on a mobile thing. Wasn't there a port of Final Fantasy VII before? Yeah, and that's actually how I played it. Oops. I was looking at the chat room and not the impending doom. I actually played it on PC years and years and years ago. But, uh... But if you try to run it on a modern machine, it's very difficult. You need, you need a lot of, uh, patches. And even then, it doesn't really work that great. I'm hoping that they, uh... They do some high res texture packs and stuff while they're at it too. You know, take take a page from the uh, the modding community. I never played eight. Um, I watched somebody play eight for a little bit, and uh, it honestly did not look that interesting. I don't know. I mean, I can't really say anything bad about it because I never gave it a fair shot. But the whole junction system thing did not look appealing. Oh god. Oh god. Why didn't I grab onto that rope? I was I was falling past the rope. Is that a background rope? Apparently it is. Maybe I just have to, uh... No? If I remember correctly, it took me forever to figure, figure out what I'm supposed to do here. And it, it ended up being a really obvious solution. Oh, crap! The screensaver on my, uh... On my thing came... Hold on. I said the screensaver for two hours, but I didn't know that I would be playing past two hours. See, that's that's a background rope. You can't grab onto it. You can't climb down. That's death. Eight revolved too much around a certain girl. I seriously can't remember her name. 
Wasn't it like Riona or something? That might not be even close to correct. Oh! You have to activate the gravity thing. See, I thought that was just a sign pointing in a direction. But nope, it's an activated item. Oh god. It's my nemesis, a giant T. That, that seriously took me longer than any other puzzle in the game the first time I played. And I felt so dumb afterwards. I'm like, oh, duh. It looks exactly like the other activated gravity things in the game. Oh, that was an H. My bad. That's an O. I know an O when I see one. <laughs> Believe me, I've seen quite a few O's in my time. <laughs> oh, kill me. Hmm. This looks safe. Oh, this looks extremely safe. What if it's a Q? Well, you know the old saying. There's no I in team. And there's no Q in hotel. That's a uh, time to switch, apparently. I'm going to have to uh, hurry this one up. Can I just fall here? No, I guess not. Okay. So wait, if it's a time switch, what happens when I get up on... Hmm. Total switch failure. I can reactivate the switch though, so I should try not to do this all in one in one go. All right, that should be good, I think. So now what happens? Now I fall into the buzzsaw. Excellent. Okay. So three goes, and I'm good. One to position the box. One to position the box some more. And three to go. I'm safe. Safe being a relative term, of course. Hmm. I. Oh. That's on a repeating switch, apparently. Okay. I. See what I have to do. I have to wait until the gravity is about to switch and then jump into the line of fire, so to speak. Now that box is no longer stuck to the ceiling and I can get by in safety. Relative safety. Oh no! Oh! Wow, I, I don't know how I lived. I should not be alive. God, now what? Man, this is some intense stuff. Oh no, don't stand there. That was a bad idea. I didn't realize I was still in the, uh... Oh, man. 
so close. Didn't realize I was still in the uh, the gravity field for a second there. If you can't hear on the stream because it's too quiet, um, the uh, the gravity switcher kind of goes. It's it has a tone that speeds up. Okay, I need to I need to hit that switch while I'm flying up. The uh, the gravity switch has a tone you can hear. I can hear just fine. Okay, it, just in case you couldn't hear and you wonder how. Uh... Oh, that's electricity. Awesome. Oh fuck. There I go, trying to press the wrong button to jump. Close. I think. This game really likes to torture this poor kid. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the game's MO. Oh, Jack Burton. I did not see you come in. Welcome. Damn. Oh, that was a fatal fall? Alright, I think I'm going about this wrong. I think I need to fall past the sign. Damn. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to fall past the sign. And then as I'm falling back down, so to speak, that's when I need to hit it. Like that. There's still life in them. I've regained control. Is the nightmare finally over? That about does it for Limbo. Thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been a hell of a ride. Thanks for sitting through the whole game. You guys are pretty awesome. 2.75 hours. Not bad. Longer than I thought it was going to take, but... It worked out. Binding of Isaac time? Uh, yeah, not tonight. Uh, 
Refuse, hello. I think I forgot to say hello to you. Or not forgot, but uh I couldn't see it with this newfangled chat system. So yeah, uh hopefully this has been an enjoyable change of pace from the binding of Isaac. And uh, that about does it for Limbo. So thanks for watching, and I will see you on Thursday. See you later.